fellow eBayers. My name is Mark Sampson from MarkSampson.com. Today's date is the 18th of May 2017 and if you are an eBay seller then you will probably have received a message from eBay or rather several messages from eBay over the last few months telling you that um, they are turning off active content in all of the listings from June 2017. So that's in just under two weeks time. Um, what that means is first of all active content is things like Flash, plugins, um, JavaScript and forms. Um, I don't really understand what they all are because I'm not a web developer but that is what I've learnt from reading these messages from eBay and you will have had emails or messages from eBay telling you that some of your listings will be non-compliant. Now um, before I go on I would just like to say that the website I'm going to use in this video and the websites that I will be using to show you what I'm going to do for replacing your videos with uh, the non-compliant version um, I will put the links to the websites in the blog post for which this video is related to if you are watching this video directly in YouTube rather than on my blog post um, I will post a link to the blog post below this video so you can go and get the links as well. Now um, if you use YouTube to put videos onto your listings um, the chances are that they will be non-compliant with the active content policy from June onwards. So uh, what do you do about it? Well I'm going to show you. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you one of my listings that I'm, that is non-compliant. So this is a listing which I have got a video, currently got a YouTube video. Hello, my eBay ID is Mompessons and I'm just making it. So as you can see at the moment that is working fine. Now there is a tool called iWays, iWays.net, um, which allows you to put in an item number into its website and it will tell you whether it is going to be mobile friendly and if not what's going to be wrong with it so I'm going to put in the item number for that listing I just showed you it takes a few seconds to display you the results So as you can see it tells me that what's okay with it and what is wrong with it. Um, so in terms of active content there's no JavaScript, there are no forms but it has mobile incompatible plugins. Now that will be the YouTube video. Now I've done some research um, with regards to um, putting in a video and all I've found in the eBay help pages is um, this inputting a product video now this is in the section which um, tells you about the active content and it's explaining about using HTML5 now I don't know exactly how to use that or what it is but it does give you this code to use now I don't know how to use this code in terms of YouTube videos. 
So I believe that this code is if you are hosting a video on your own website. So I don't think it can be used if you're using a YouTube video anyway. But so that's all I can find about it. Um, so I've also found a website though which does use um, which will give you code when you put in the um, YouTube identity number and it'll give you some code which you can use to embed into your video and it'll be compliant now I don't know how it works or what it does um, I don't really care it just does what it what I want it to do so um, this is the um, page um, I'll put a link to it in the blog post as I mentioned earlier in the video so um, what you do is go to your YouTube video I've got the video which I'm using up on my YouTube channel and what you want is the um, identity number or the um, ID so if you go into your share settings what you want is the bit after this forward slash here so you, can, you can't copy and paste just that part so it's also in the um, end of the URL at the top of the title bar here it's this bit here that you want where it says equals so you want to take that copy that go back to the form where you put in the um, item number it's eTemplate wizard is the name of the website by the way submit and then it gives you this code so basically you copy and paste this code into your listing so we go back to our listing I will click on revise your item now there are two different uh, listing forms on eBay at the moment so yours you, if you're on the new one yours may look slightly different to mine I'm currently using the old one um, but the uh, the way you put in the HTML is still the same way so um, first of all you want to take out the old video so you can do that just by placing the cursor next to it and pressing the delete key now where you want the video to go because you if you go over to the HTML tab you've just got all the HTML there and you wouldn't have a clue where to put the code so what I do is I put the cursor where I want my video to go I press um, I put in a load of X's like that I then go back to my HTML and then I basically um, highlight the X's and paste in the code from the website so I'm going to copy this go back to my listing highlight the X's paste and now I'm going to go back to the description and there you will see the video pops up now I'm going to go back to save and save submit revisions rather now we're going to go back into the listing and you will see that the video is there if I click on the play button hello my eBay ID is Mompessons so you can see the video is working fine um, we get our item number uh, 
and we go back to our iways checker we put in the item number again and we see the results that it will give us and hopefully fingers crossed we are compliant that listing is now compliant as you can see mobile incompatible plugins this page does not use any mobile incompatible plugins now previously that video wouldn't have shown on mobile devices like in a um, in the eBay app for example now it should I've not tried it but according to this it should be fine and it's as simple as that so anyway um, I hope that's helped some of you out there because I was a little bit concerned I wouldn't be able to put video into my listings anymore um, so I hope that you found this video useful um, if so and you wish to get more videos from me you can subscribe to my blog at marksampson.com like me on, or subscribe to me rather on YouTube and like this